We took a two hour ferry from Cebu and we just arrived to Camotes Island here in the Philippines and man, what can I say? First impressions of the island is that it's very very green, driving around, seeing a lot of local life happening. Right now we are in Santiago Bay and I'm standing on this really nice white sand beach. I mean have a look man. This is probably the nicest beach we have been in Philippines so far. Supposedly it's the rainy season but not much rain is happening so far. There are some clouds every now and then but they just come and go. They don't really stay for too long. But the best part is about the rainy seasons is that there's literally no tourists. We still haven't seen any tourists driving around this island. It's just me and Olivia. It looks like there's a lot of little secret places to explore around here. A lot of snorkeling spots and a lot of beautiful beaches and underwater caves. I think there's a lot to do here on Komotes Islands and there's not too many people either which is the perfect combination. So we were flying the drone and on the drone I saw that there was a really nice looking beach. So we decided to find the beach and there was no signs. We took this tiny little road to get here and to be honest I think I preferred this beach here. Look at that. There's literally no people. There is a cemetery. Pretty nice place to rest in peace to be honest right by this beach. Let's get a little bit closer. There is a little bit trash but this trash is probably getting washed off from the shore. As I always say it's a global problem you know it happens everywhere nowadays but the beach itself man there's like nobody here. Oh man such a nice sand in here. This is lovely I see loads of fish as well and for that reason there's a lot of fishing boats so I feel like people fish in here more often. This one looks even cooler. Look at that. So nice and secluded just by these rocks. Oh wow man this looks quite like a paradise. Look at this beautiful rock. What do you think so far of this island? I'm liking it. Two thumbs up. We actually took our time to drive around the south coast of the Cebu Island. We went to Oblov. Oblov. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> And Molbual, you know, the Molbual was very popular, but damn, there were so many people, you know, so we decided to not film, you know, it's just not what we're looking for, because this is what we're looking for. Yes, mate, and this is just me and Olivia here. Look at that. I love these things dangling as well. <laughs> so like a lot of cemeteries have open holes in them, so I have no idea what's the case, you know, the, the hole seems to be cracked open, so I'm, I'm assuming the bodies have been moved as well. So if you guys know what it is and why are the holes open like that can you let us know if you're Filipino because I have no idea the way people are buried is kind of similar way in Spain because you know of like rock it's hard to find ground so people sort of like pile in these boxes I don't think I've ever seen like them being cracked open and you know everything inside have been moved out I have seen one coffin in there but that's it just took a nice little drive across the island and now we have arrived to the Danao Lake because we decided to have a little drink and what could be a better place than having a drink by the lake. Is buko coconut? Buko means coconut. Okay. I, I keep seeing that two coconut. everywhere. Sure? Two, yeah. I keep seeing the word buko everywhere on the side of the road. I didn't know it meant coconut. Olivia says that the coconut is with milk. I've never tried coconut with milk. It's like what, dairy milk? Coconut milk, or if it's can you hold this with coconut juice with milk mixed in? Yeah, I don't know what it which one it's not necessarily too sweet. They have coconut bits, it tastes really good though, it's pretty delicious. Anyways, let's get closer to that lake. And to be honest, the lake looks pretty lush. There's like a bunch of restaurants in here. I'm working on this floating thing in here. And if you look in the distance, there's just nothing but greenery, just like beautiful palm tree forest it looks really nice I think you can take uh, these paddle boats here and just go around the lake so far everywhere we've been today has been pretty quiet there's not really any people here at all even going into places and parking no we haven't had to pay any parking fee there's supposedly an entry fee here but nobody's charged us so I don't know if it's because of low season I'm not sure. Usually you're supposed to pay, but nobody's asked us. So. That works for us though. Yeah. <laughs> this island actually seems like a really nice place to grow up as a kid because you're pretty much outside in the nature all the time, chilling at the beach, playing by the lake. I've seen lots of happy kids around here and it looks like they have a good time. And I haven't seen one kid on a phone, which is a breath of fresh air in this day and age when you do see a lot of kids on the phones. It seems like a really nice place to be as a kid here. So we've just arrived at Timubo cave and it's one of the underwater caves here 
on Komotus Island. There's actually quite a few of these, so it basically looks something like that. It's in there and it's got this beautiful blue water under the ground, which is pretty unique. I've never seen that anywhere else in Southeast Asia before. It's about 70 pesos to go in, which is a dollar fifty, so it's not that bad. I'm gonna head in and check it out. When you first walk in, it's like, where is the cave? But then there's a little hole here. It's nicely made steps as well. It's quite low. Yeah, oh, there is a little bit of light down there. Okay, it really opens up. This is going really, really down and the temperature is increasing, feeling really hot here. To the point where it's like deafening silence if you stop. Like really quiet. Yeah, I mean, we're, really we're getting really deep on the ground. It does feel like a little claustrophobic. <laughs> no, right? So good thing you have light. Without light, you wouldn't be able to see anything in here. I've never been anywhere in my life quite like this. It's like an underwater lagoon. I've never been in a cave like this so deep underground. I feel like I'm in one of those treasure hunting movies <laughs> where they're like at the end of it where they're about to find the gold. We just gotta find the secret passage first. We should go deeper in to yeah. see what's there. If you didn't have any lights, it'd be pitch black. So if the light gone off right now, you'd be kind of screwed oh in a way. God, we haven't brought any light with us at all. Yeah, imagine <laughs> if, if, if yeah, the, the power has just gone off. That'd be pretty terrifying. Now we're back to the white sand beach. And to be honest, it looks completely different when it's sunset time. Uh, the tide is out and I think the tide goes out different every single time but we found this really cool restaurant here right by the beach uh it looks pretty damn good it's pretty damn cheap I'll give you yeah, that so more affordable than other places <laughs> on this island so it's really cool so we're gonna watch the sunset in here probably gonna lift up the drone have some food and have an absolutely nice chiller the cave itself was like mesmerizing and there's so much alien. more to see though it was crazy yeah sunset and it looks absolutely next level the little boats just moving around really fast the clouds just coming in and the sky is just getting better and better and we have ordered some food fried calamari some garlic butter shrimp and apparently it's a traditional filipino dish we yeah. never tried before it's called fish kinilo we didn't actually know what it was i googled it and it said it was raw fish and then it said that apparently the department of health say that it's very unsafe to eat. But anyways, I'm gonna be the first one to try it and to see if this video continues. Be careful. It's with lime, it kind of cooks up. I had similar stuff before it's with, like ceviche. with the monk tribe in Laos. Yeah. Mm. It's amazing. It's like cooked in vinegar, apparently. It's so good. Or marinated in vinegar. Mm. It's, yeah, because you put vinegar in lime, so it just kind of like... It cooks it almost, yeah, it but kinda, it's kinda like ro still it. raw. As you can see, it gets like a bit like white on the outside. It kind of tastes like pickled fish a little bit. Oh man, this is so good. Love it. So it's another beautiful morning on Kamotes Island. We just woken up and had a quick breakfast and took a little drive all the way to the other island to explore a different cave today. It's the most popular one on the island for the beautiful rock formations and the underwater lagoon. So we can't wait to get inside and see this one. This one looks a bit bigger than the one we saw yesterday. Well, the entry looks bigger. Yeah. It was actually a little bit cheaper than this one. It was only a dollar each entry. Not sure how deep it goes, but it definitely is wider, this one. And I think there is no artificial lights. It's just sort of like a natural light. All right, this looks literally like in some sort of video game. Yeah. Looks crazy. I hope you can see it very well, but like literally it's like a whole natural pool with a lot of natural light. <laughs> it looks like from the movies, man. It'd be nice to come on the right time of the day when like the sunlight shines all the way through this gap. That would be ideal. And I think the tide is low as well, so it's not very deep. A little bit of a sunshine in here. <laughs> so nice, just coming from that gap. Oh man, I really wonder what time do you have to come so the sun rays are shining through that big gap over there but man overall i mean what do you guys think this is generally i think it's next level it's literally from a video game if you ever heard of uncharted or tomb raider 
it generally looks like that so we had a nice little drive across the islands probably the longest drive we've had today and we just got to the Santiago Bay again uh, just to get some iced coffee and we have noticed in the distance a massive mushroom cloud literally like a massive explosion or something like that and it's coming directly from the airport of Cebu we looked up at the Google Maps it's definitely coming from there and have a look guys it's all the way in the distance there uh, I'm using a GoPro right now so I'm not sure if you can see it very well but you can clearly see that it's coming from the ground you know which is kind of weird I yeah. don't know what it is there's more and more like dark smoke coming out at first we were like is it a volcano but I don't think there's any volcanoes near there it's literally so, if you look like if you look the Google Maps it points directly to the airport over there yeah. so it's yeah. only getting bigger this is kind of crazy I don't know what happened yeah. and we, there's not much on the news so we took a little drive to the Paraiso cave we have to explore all the caves around the island you know what I mean and this is the entry I guess this is where the cave begins as always you, you can't really tell anything from the outside and then you walk in and it's a whole new world it's really what well lit up oh yeah little picnic table there's a little mushroom light wow such a crystal clear water <gasps> it's pretty cool yeah look at this underwater caves i feel like it goes really really deep <sighs> so refreshing after driving in a hot sun this is nothing but relaxation it's only about five minutes drive from the Paraiso cave, which means paradise. Now we're at the heaven cave. I love all the names, man. So far, all the caves have been very different. Let's see how this one looks like. Yeah, I saw. I just saw a local guy with a headlight on who's about to come in with us. So I think this one is dark. The electricity's out, that's why. I think he has some lights. Right, so they just turned on the power. It goes all the way there. Mm, the water now is all tight. It's a low tide, yeah, so it's yeah. seawater. Yeah, it may be seawater. Oh, it makes okay. these rock formations look like artificial as hell. Doesn't even look this real. This is a cave. It's a nature. Oh yeah, natural, hundred percent. It just looks artificial. Not allowed touch and hold. But if one touch, if I'll die. If you touch, you'll die. Yes. See, cheese type. This cheese change color like this okay, one. Okay, okay. Oh, changes color. Yeah. If you touch, then you can yeah. see like the drops right next For to me, it. Yeah. yeah, the drop the water. This the water is a uh, silica minerals. Silica minerals. Yes. Who is Marin? Marvin. <laughs> and the bad boy is in here. The bad boy. Ah, uh, the bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> That's the bats in there. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can see really, really small. I'm not sure if you guys can see very well on this GoPro, but yeah, you can see the bats. Tiny, tiny, like really small bats. The bats here. This is the fruit bats. Not many. Like I can see only one. Right, yeah. Let's go deeper. This one, this one. Pretty cool. So they're hollow inside. Yeah, yeah it's like so an empty. Basically, you can come and make your music band here in this yeah. cave. This is the last here. The last bit. It's more inside, but it's not allowed. It's too dangerous. Yeah, it's 75 meters. 75 meters 75 deep. 75 meters or 100 meters. So underground. Yeah, it's alone. Did you go before yourself? Uh, I, have, I have a tank. Okay. Is it nice? Nice, nice, very nice. Real adventure. Good, nice. Yeah. Okay. And you here. And here. Here. Oh. Thank you. Slowly. Oh my God. Ah, refreshing water. Yeah. So hot in here actually. So apparently the water rises all the way up. All the way up to here. So then when you want to go across to different chambers, you have to dive underneath it and yeah that looks pretty interesting it's just that it's really early in the morning when the tide is high we didn't make it for this but in a way it's kind of good i think it's yeah. it's good enough right <laughs> depends what kind of adventure you want so one of the guys from the other cave has taken us to lizzie's cabin it's this way he says he's going to show us around apparently this cave doesn't have any pictures on google maps because it's a brand new cave so it's just been opened very recently and we are one of the few people visiting it so there's not much information about it either all we've been told that it's quite big this one definitely looks deeper than the others so yeah far. so they were struggling to get a license to open this cave before and now it's it's been finished about a year ago and it just opened like one month or two months ago how many people visit uh, all Inside? yeah 50 people 50 people no only been to this cave so we're one of the very few oh, nobody hit my head. <laughs> now bring water in the morning this one Ah, till here. Oh, this one. Wow. 
Morning, morning. Now, down. It looks like you're in a club. <laughs> Very tight squeeze. Okay. Down, down. Manage? Down, hit hard. Down. Just watch your head, yeah? So there's no installation of power in there. It's pitch black. So in the morning, this whole thing is like literally submerged. And look at the shell, guys. It's like a massive shell from back in days. And this is another huge shell. So probably when the volcano happened, formed this cave, a lot of shells and uh, corals got trapped in here by the looks of it. It looks kind of crazy. That's really cool. Mm. So we were just about to drive to the beach to enjoy the sunset again for our last day on the island, but Mario's seen some street food he wants. We can't drive past without getting it. Banana. I thought it was a sausage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's been going on about this sausage you saw at the side of the road okay. and it's a banana. Thank you. Uh. We went back to our favourite spot for dinner to enjoy the last sunset on this beautiful island before we continue our trip around the Philippines.